Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I'm bad. The weather is cold. It's very cold. That is true. It's very, very cold. <laughs> we need to be careful and not uh, for not getting sick, not to get the flu, because you might be thinking, oh, I have COVID, right? So it's better not to have anything right now. <laughs> okay. So there are just, hello. Uh -huh. So there are just a few people right now, but we're going to start because it's a little late already. So, um, first question is, what is uh, how is going on with the platform? How do you advance? How are you moving on into that one? Something In that my day. Go ahead. Okay. When we need to do the the exam. The midterm test is this week, uh, let's say this Thursday. But if you did that already, that is fine. Okay. No oh, okay. Okay. Uh, the 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 quiz is uh, in, in what unit? What unit is? Uh, you say the midterm or the final one? Midterm. The midterm is going to be this week. Uh, let's say Thursday. Thursday, okay. Yeah, very good. Okay. Thanks, teacher. In oh, in my case, I I work in the unit one. Okay. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. You have time, but okay. just remember that uh, in two more weeks you have to finish. Mm -hmm. So you okay. need to yes. move on. Very good. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Any other thing related to the to the platform? The exam is at the platform. Yeah, the exam is at the platform. Whenever you finish unit uh, section three, you are going to find there the midterm test. Okay. Okay, any other question related with the platform? Okay, so we're going to start our class. Let's see. So I guess you know this, but this is part of the content that we can uh, we need to check. So count and noun count nouns. Oh, no. Okay, uh, are you able to see there? Do you see very well? Do you want me to get bigger? Let's see. Okay, so can nouns can be used in plural form, right? And usually, not always, uh, with a, an S at the end, like two bugs, spiders, um, cups. Uh, there are some of those that are like different, right? For example, what is the plural of fish? Fishes. Actually, that is not correct. Does anybody know the plural of fish? Fish. It's fish. It doesn't change. Fish. Doesn't so you, change. Yeah. So you can say three fish, not fishes. And some other are different, like uh, woman and women, right? Or when you say goose and geese. So those are different. Uh, but usually we're going to have an S at the end of the noun when this is a count noun because you are able to to use plurals with that one. The other one says can be used with definite articles like the, the bags, the anything, right? And it can be used with indefinite articles, a, on, anything like that. Examples, Paul bought a key at the store. The students went to class. So, on the other hand, we have noun count nouns. Usually cannot be expressed in plural forms. Usually, okay? Also, cannot be used with indefinite articles. So, we are not going to use a or an with uh, noun count nouns. 
For example, money. You can say, I'm money. It's not possible. The other one, it says, can be used with definite article. There. That is possible. And can be used without an article. So it's possible. Examples, I listened to music. We listen to the rain during the storm. So this is just like a review, but let me ask you, do you have a question regarding this? No teacher, any questions? No questions, right? Yeah, this is not. Okay, so we're going to move on. And the next one is related to this. Those are quantifiers. Okay, when do we use quantifiers? Do you remember? The, the things countable. When you have nouns that you can count. Well, you have uh, nouns yes, that you can count. Actually, you can use it with countable nouns as well. For example, many or not many cigarettes. As you can see there, cigarettes is plural. And we can use many. It's different because uh, we can't use much. It's going to be only many in this because it's plural. A few cars. So uh, we do not say a specific numbers, but with that word, we have an idea on approximately if they are many or not many. Okay, so that is maybe the context. Very few trees. That is another one that we can use. And we can use with adverbs or with other adverbs. Like very, very few trees. Fewer. That is like comparative, right? Fewer books. It's possible for us to describe uh, some quantity with the word fewer. Uh, it's clear fewer. How is going to be that? Si hay preguntas, please shoot me. Several. I, I have a question. Go ahead. Fewers, we can use it like a comparative or no? Yeah, that is like a comparative. Okay. So, okay. but you can you can compare. Uh, not always is possible to compare. For example, in this case, books with books. We can say, for example, in this one, you can say, in the library, now we have fewer books. So the compar the comparative okay. there is about time, right? Now we have fewer books than before. So, what is the so the other one is several, several answers. Do you know what is several? In Spanish, we don't have anything like that. But several is like less than many. But it's not just a few. Several, there are like, I have a lot of questions, but not that many. You know, that is like the context of that. Any question with several? Several questions. <laughs> you can say that as well. Uh, the other one is both. You know what is both, right? But ambos. Yeah, both parents. The two of them, right? Each boy, that is another um, quantifier that we can use. Each, each one. We can count one by one, each one. Every time, every single thing, every is also another quantifier. On the other hand, we have the other ones that is much, that is for only for non-count nouns. Do you remember that? Yes. Good. And uh, the uh, similar to a few is a little, a little cheese, okay? A little water. Anything that you can count, it will be with a little. Or a very little. That is less, right? A very little. Do you want water? Uh, yes, but a very little. Very little experience. And the other one, less. Less is also another quantifier that we use. Less time. 
less, uh, it's okay, this amount of milk, now I, I, I want less, less milk. Questions about this one right now? No, I am. Good. So the other ones are also very common. Uh, some money, some is not many and not few or little. Some eggs, not any water, um, not any friends, more sure. of must. Go ahead. Um, less time is uh, like uh, another, another time maybe? Mm, well, would you say less time? For example. Yeah. Yeah, less time, less time. Uh, yeah, that one is like, how can I give you an example? Um, imagine that we have an exercise and you tell me, uh, are we going to have 20 minutes for this exercise? And I say, uh, no, it's going to have less time. So oh, yeah. it, it's not with a number, but you know that it's going to be less compared with the 30 or 20 minutes that you told me. Oh, it's to rest. Yeah, it's like like telling you that it's going to be not that much less. Not that much, oh. less than much. Okay, okay, I understand. Good. The other one, uh, we were in not any, not any friends, any, right? That is uh, also very common. And maybe the most common is this one, actually, I just used it. More and the most, okay? more expensive, uh, I want more wine, um, I want the most expensive wine. So you, we use that to speak about quantity, but not with numbers, people and many other things. Um, you can say all the work uh, or no work at all, for example. That is another thing that is very common. All the children, who are going to play there in the party are all the children. Or there are no children at home. You can use also both of those so you can quantify things without numbers. And uh, enough. Do you know what is enough? Enough. enough. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, Suficiente. Very good. So we can use this in affirmative or in negative way. We can say, um, I don't have enough food. That means I want more food. And if I say, I have, I have enough food, that means I'm fine. I don't want more. It, it doesn't enough. Yeah. So you can use that with any verbs, with any context, enough. Or when you want to say something to stop, right? When you say enough. Please okay. wait. Okay. Okay. So, um, any question before we move on? Hable ahora o calle para siempre. Teacher, in the third chart, is, uh, you can use the, the this one, those quantifier with countable and uncountable nouns. Uh, the most of those some money or people. some eggs. Uh, yeah, on the last one, yeah, some money, some eggs. The last one. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, so it's like mixed up. You can use that with both. Several is a strict answer. Sure. I'm sorry. Could you please repeat your question? Uh, several, several answer is like a strict. Uh, well, when you use several, it's like very si it's very similar to many, a little less than many. Very similar. Than many. Yeah, it's similar to many, but less, a little less. Okay, so you can say, yeah. um, I have several toys. That means that you have many, but not that many. Okay. Do you do you have the idea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. If I equals is several. I'm sorry? If no if equals is several. 
equals. What do you mean by equals? Equals to any other one or equals to many? Yeah, equals to many. It's very similar, yeah. So you can say, so imagine that I say, I have several I, questions. Yeah, I got the idea. Uh huh. So it's like that. Good. Any other question with this? No, oh. I don't have a question. I got it. Okay, so let's get more, more vocabulary. I really like vocabulary. So these are quantifiers. Uh, quantifiers are used at the beginning of a noun phrases. They are used to express an amount or a degree or something. They are also used with persons. So, as you can see here, uh, we say that they are used for, first of all, at the beginning of a noun phrase, okay? And also remember that they express not only amount, okay? So many, we know that are many, a hundred, a thousand, but also you can use that as a degree. Do you know what is a degree? Degree. Guitar, man. Um, degree sería como grado. Un grado de algo, de satisfacción, uh, something like that. Okay, and we can also use that with people, with person. And we have here, here is like other kind of vocabulary for this one. For countable nouns, we can use, for example, a majority of. A majority of people yeah. will vote this 28th of February. Well, we don't know, but anyways, we can say that. A number of. You can also say that one. So there is a number, we don't know how many, but there are some people that will do something. A number of. Several, we discussed that already. Many, also we know that one. A large number of, that is also very, very common. There is a large number of people that are getting vaccinated for COVID this day, for example. Any question with a large number of, or a majority or a number of? No questions, good. A few, well, we know that one. A few, just a few, three or four. Or you can say also few. Few students will come. You can say that. Very few, as we discussed before, is less. Also, you can say, uh, I don't know if he's here, but we're going to check that later. Uh, very few, and a great number of. You also can say that. There is a great number of viruses nowadays in the world. All of them are dangerous. Okay, so the question is, do you have a question? Do you have several questions about this? A few questions? No questions. <laughs> this is just vocabulary for you to start using. It's very important for, first of all, to understand the usage of the vocabulary, and then try to use it, okay? Probably uh, one of the problems that we have when we are learning a secondary a foreign language is that we use the same words. So whenever you have vocabulary, try to use it. That is very good. Let's check the other ones. With uncountable nouns. Of course, we have much. A bit, do you know what is a bit? A bit, a poco, un poco. Un poco, verdad? A bit, a bit of sugar. Do you want sugar in your coffee? A bit. Okay. A great deal of, also. Very popular, very uh, possible to use. A great deal of water was contaminated in the ocean. Okay. Or the other one is also a good one. A large quantity of, we are not sure how much, but a large quantity of water uh, was 
deployed in the ocean. Also, you can say a large amount of. A large amount of rice was donated by the government this year. And then we have a little, you know, a little, a little is a little. And this one is very interesting because you can com uh, combine this one. You can say, for example, a little bit. Do you want uh, milk in your coffee? A little bit. A little bit is less than a bit. Okay. Or, of course, you can say little or very little. Do you want um, wine? Very little. Not that much. Okay, do you have questions with this part, with uncountable now? Uh, do you can give, give, give to me a, a, another example, a great deal of? A great deal of... Uh, I don't understand exactly what is the idea of a great deal. A great of. deal is like a lot of something that is not countable. Okay. So you can say a great deal of soda is being sold in the US per minute. Oh. That is it. Okay, I got it. Good, perfect. And we have, have a, go ahead. I have, go ahead. Another, I have another question. Yeah. And uh, a large quantity of, it's bigger than a great deal of. Mm, they are very similar. They are just different ways for you to say something. Uh, here, ah, okay. the thing and, is that, and, go ahead. And we, and we can say it, a large quantity of pollution. Yeah, that is possible. A large quantity of pollution um, is getting in the air on the face of the planet every ah, okay. day. So as you can see, uh, we are checking some vocabulary that is going to help you building phrases that are like uh, more they are richer as you can see all the examples that i'm telling you there are like phrases long phrases and that uh, that is where we're going to start using this kind of vocabulary when we are uh, for example in mind that in the advanced um, level you are going to be required to write an essay. Do you know what is an essay? Ensayo. Un ensayo. Very good. So essays have a structure uh, or debates. In debates also we can use this kind of vocabulary that is like for you to provide reason or facts or things like that. So that's why we are checking into this vocabulary because we are getting to build uh, conversations that are like a little bit more technical in English, let's say. Uh, but you can use all of those, I mean, for example, in the uncountable nouns, a great deal of, a large quantity of, a large amount of, is something very similar. It's like a lot. But instead of saying a lot, you can say, oh, a large quantity of water was polluted and launched to the ocean. So, the structure is richer, is, is better. A any other question before we move on? No. Okay. So, we have a little bit more. This is for countable and uncountable nouns. So, you can use them in the way that you please. Enough, we check what is enough. All. All the water in the world is kind of polluted at some degree. We can say that. More. We want more of something. Okay. The planet me it needs more uh, people that takes care of them. Most. Also, you know that one. And less that is the opposite. This less is the opposite of more. And least is the opposite of most, okay? So for example, um, she is the least prepared for that position. It will be the opposite of how she was the most prepared person for that position. 
So there you can use or you can check the uh, combination of those ones. No, that is also very popular. No money for the corrupt politicians, for example. We can say that. None, that is like nothing at all or nobody. None. Um, any, that is like, uh, just remember that any, most likely you are going to use those four questions and for, uh, we're going to check that, I remember. We're going to check that. Negative question? I'm sorry? In the negative question? You use any or yeah. in a question in the negative in the negative sentence. Negative sentences and else in questions and there is another way. But we are going to check that. I, I remember that I have something for that. <laughs> is a teacher is uh, like you say any more? Any? Any more or any more one? Uh, any more is another one. We can use that. We don't want that anymore. That is like, of course, in a negative context, you can say or use anymore. And any also is in like in that context as well. We don't want any, um, go ahead. It's too negative. Yeah, uh, the most of the time we're going to use any four um, questions and negative <laughs> statements as uh, wow. our partner was telling. But there is another way for you to use that in affirmative. We're going to check into that, okay? Uh, let me think. Not any. Some. Plenty of. Do you know what is plenty of? Plenty of. Uh, plenty of. Plenty of uh, is like, like many. A little bit less. Very similar to many as well. We can say, for example, there are plenty of students in the class today. Como suficiente? Mm, plenty, more or less. Okay. It's como varios. It's like, muchos. Muchos. It's like, it's a like a several. It's no? like several. Yeah, it's more similar to several. I remember than... it's a use like a several. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe complete, sure, complete. Uh, not complete. Let's say that we have many, we have several, and we have plenty. That might be the idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. So lots of vocabulary today. <laughs> uh, yeah. Questions. Do you have any question? Yes, I have one question. Go ahead. And said with countables and uncountables now. That means that we can use every these uh, every these words in uncountables and countable. For for example, plenty of sugar or plenty of bananas. That is correct. You can okay. use those for both. You can use for countable and non-countable. Just remember, remember that if you use uh, if you use uh, countable nouns, yeah, those have to be in plural, in the plural way. As you say, plenty of bananas. That is important. If you don't use the S in bananas, everything is not correct. Okay. So that is the trick there, okay, to remember. Yes. Good, good. Any other question? Did you say about the banana is not correct bananas with S? No, I said that you have to use bananas oh. because it's plural, it's countable. Okay? Yeah. And if you don't have the S, then all the sentence is not correct. Okay. Very good. Any other question? Oh, si he hablado yo, verdad? Okay, <laughs> so here we go. Okay. So we're going to practice. We have here some questions and uh, we're going to try to, to create a question uh, with quantifiers or with words that we have checked 
you can use sometimes it's possible to use more than one option okay so for the first one how do you have an idea to create a question with that how many stars are many. there in the sky you can say that one do you how do you know how many stars are there in the sky uh, you can say also um, you can change that for, for example, um, are there plenty of stars in the sky today? Sometimes, you know, when you go out at night, uh, you just see a few stars. And sometimes you see lots of stars, depending on many things. Uh, but you can ask questions like that. Are there a large amount of stars in the sky today? We can use that. Good, number, well, it's not a number, but the next one, how is it gonna be the next one? Any idea? Yeah. How people live. How, how many how people live? How many people live in the island. In, on Iceland? On islands. Islands, very good. Remember islands. that the pronunciation is islands. The first islands. Island. We don't islands. say that, islands. So how many people live on island? Do you have an idea? Uh, have you ever thought about that one? Uh, how many people in the world live on islands? What do you think? Wow. No, I have no idea. I don't, yeah. many, people. many people. Few people, I think. Hello, can you hear me? Now I can hear you very well. Yes, I can hear you. All right. I was not able to hear you. Sorry for that. So um, how you can use a quantifier to answer that question. How many people live on islands? How many? Many. A few, few people? Few people? A few Several people. people. Several people. So for example, I, I will say that for me, in my opinion, uh, it might be a large amount of people. Why? For example, England is an island. It's an island. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> and there are thousands, millions of people there living in Ireland, England. Australia is an island, right? So? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. The I imagine one. the island in a, in a cartoon. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Few people, you know. <laughs> Actually, that is possible. Yeah. There are some islands maybe where some, just a few people there are living. There, there. are a few people there. <laughs> yeah. So that depends on the island, probably. Probably that is the answer, right? The answer is, depends. If it's it a, just depend. uh -huh. If it's a small island, with not many resources. Few people ah, live few people. there. But if it's a large island like Australia, well, a large amount, a large quantity of people. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good. Okay, the next one. How is going to be the next one? How many birds are there? How many birds are there? Oh, nice. You mind that I ask you, um, uh, do you believe that uh, there are many birds there in the Amazon? How many birds are there in the Amazon? Oh, there are many birds. A amount of a large amount, right? A large a amount. amount. Too many birds. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The other one is water in the ocean. That is a good question. How, is going how, to be how much water? How much, how much water, 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 water in the ocean? ocean. Because what do you it's think? Not count. No. It's not countable. That's good. It's not countable. And if I want you to answer that one, how much water is there in the ocean? I don't. I don't have idea. I don't have an idea. <laughs> I don't have a lot, right? A lot, lot of water. Water. Lots of water everywhere. Yeah. A lot of water. <laughs> okay. Okay, what about the next one? 
How much money? How much money? money in a bank. In a bank. In a bank. What do you think? How much money is there in a bank? Mm. There is a quant quantity a of... A great amount. How? A great uh, amount of money. A great amount? Well, we I believe, don't, we I don't hope. Remember this. <laughs> it depends the the bank. That is true. Mm -hmm. because it's not the same. For example... Go ahead, go ahead. Please. For example, bank agric agricola is a lot, uh, some money, but example, but a bank, a bank is a, 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 a smaller bank, right? Uh -huh. A bank, for example, is, is, is um, how do you say, menos dinero, men, oh. They have less money. Uh, less, less money. money. Mm -hmm. money. Less. Mm -hmm. okay. Can you see that we are we are using the models of quantify? They have less money, so depends. Another bank they have more money than this one. So this is what we need to use this grammar for. That's why mm -hmm. we are doing this practice in a different way. So we can we can analyze and think and provide opinion. As our mm -hmm. friend said here, it's not the same. I mean, it's not the same to compare agricola to a bank in the US. Totally different, right? Yes. Yeah. So they have more money than we have here in our banks. And what about the next one? How many countries? Huh? Are there How in many the world? countries are in How the world? How many countries are there in the world? That is a very good question. Uh, do you have an idea countries? of how many countries are there in the world? I listen about that, but I didn't, I don't remember now. <laughs> we don't have an idea, right? Maybe somebody A large can... quantity of countries. A large amount of countries. There are so many countries that are very small and we don't know. The good thing is that with internet and with all the technology, we can go and check. I mean, I guess that somewhere we can find exactly the number of countries in the world, right? But mm -hmm. since we don't know, we can say plenty. There are plenty of countries in the world. 194 <laughs> countries in the world. There is the answer. Now we know. <laughs> Good, thank San, you. Thank San Google. <laughs> yeah, you know, we can know you right now. <laughs> How many are there? 194. Uh, 194. Oh. Yes. Yeah. There, there are a lot of countries. I thought, I thought maybe there were going to be more. I was thinking about 300. But 194 is a good number. <laughs> okay, the other one. How it's going to be? Um, how much bread? Is bread is not countable, right? It's not countable. Oh. A piece of bread is countable. Quantifier again. Yeah. Quantifier. Piece. Ah, a piece of. Yeah, yeah, that's a quantifier, and you say uh, well, you use a quantifier when you exactly talk about it. Yeah. The piece of bread. So who's going to be the answer for that one? Do you have an idea on how much bread is eaten per day? Uh, well, no. it, uh, it depends in the good in the country or in my house or in the yeah. world. In the neighborhood, right? In the neighborhood, mm, maybe. Yeah. Maybe we can yes. we can analyze. But in the world, I think it's how many? A lot, right? And mm -hmm. uh, I have a question for you. In El Salvador, do because you feel... It, because uh, there is eating for day. Perfect. So I think it's um, how many? A large amount of bread is eaten per day. And uh, I was going to ask you another question. In El Salvador, what do you believe? Um, do people in El Salvador eat more bread or tortillas? Tortillas. Uh, they, they eat more <laughs> tortillas. 
uh-huh. yeah, yeah, it depends because we we eat uh, bread in the morning and uh, in the night. So at night, yeah. I think it depends. Yeah, it depends. I think in the the rural zone, the people of the rural zone uh, they eat more tortillas. But I think people in the city eat more bread, maybe. Probably, probably. Yeah. I think most of the people like tortillas. The thing is that we are practicing English. <laughs> what do you think, teacher? Well, I believe that people eat more tortillas in El Salvador. I mean, mm-hmm. in the morning, probably everybody eats bread or pupusas, right? Something mm-hmm. like that. Those are maybe the, more, the and most popular. And pupusas like tortilla. <laughs> exactly. So it's like something like that. Yeah. And for lunch, probably the most of the people, they eat tortillas. Tortilla. tortilla. At night, mm-hmm. I guess that depends. I mean, that is a mixed up. There are people that they eat Some tortilla. people eat tortillas. <laughs> and some bread. And some bread. Depending <laughs> of departments. Also, it might depend, right? Yeah, depending. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very good. So, the next question. How is it going to be? Uh, how many bonds? How many bonds are there in the human body? Because it is plural. Bonds are there. Yeah, bonds. Countable. So, uh, to, what do you think? Thousand? Two thousand? There are. Do you think two thousand? No, two no, two hundred. Two hundred, but uh, it's more than two hundred. <laughs> it might be fifty-six. No, uh, I I'm not sure. <laughs> Why yes. don't we? Yes, two hundred six. Two hundred six months. Two hundred six. Two hundred six. Two hundred six. When in an adult. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for baby. Maybe. Have more yeah. like a little more than three three hundred a little yeah. more when you are a baby you have a little bo- a little more than three hundred okay. but then when you grow up uh, you have like two two thousand two hundred right okay. yes. So, uh, did you find that in Google as well? Yes. yes. Well, what, what was the number you say? Could you please repeat the number? 206 for adults and 300 for babies. Imagine. I didn't yeah. know that baby had more bonds. Did you know that? <laughs> I, I didn't know. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I had Yo no idea. Decir, en español. Okay. Porque se van uniendo a medida van creciendo las personas. Okay. Uh, but, but the difference is, is 100. Yeah, it's a lot of bonds, right? It's I a lot think. of, yeah. <laughs> we need sí, to... pero no sé por qué será. No, but four differences. All of the head of the babies, uh, well, we have uh, like one single bone, something like that, when we are grown up. But the babies have a little more pieces in the head because uh, when they, I, I don't know, when they born, uh, the head uh, is need to be more, uh, it needs to be small. So yeah. all the bones are like really contracted, something like that. <laughs> And and they expand and became in a, or becoming an, in a new in a one bone <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Imagine that is so interesting, right? <laughs> we learn science in the English classes too. <laughs> yeah, we're here for um, that way. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> very very interesting. What about the next one? How much sand is in the desert? Desert, desert, desert. I I confuse when I pronounce the desert at the, like a, a desert. <laughs> uh, yeah. or in in uh-huh. desierto. <laughs> the 
pronunciation is is the pronunciation the is, is the difference yeah, is different for uh cake is going to be the cert the cert and for the cert. for the one that is in uh like the dust that is going to be oh. desert 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 desert. Oh. desert that is and also desert. the writing how the much other is word, in the uh, desert WS. what do you think a lot of lots of right oh. tons of there is another one tons, tons of <laughs> tons of yes yeah lots of sand what about the other one in my in this tons, one? Uh, tons is another quantifier tons. it's another quantifier tons it's like a tons. lot huge yeah huge <laughs> <laughs> Okay. What about the last question? What do you think? How much information, How much information is, on is on the internet? What do you think? Plenty oh. information on the internet. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of information. Yeah. And many of those, uh, much of that information know, is not for, it's not for, for real, right? It's not correct. Okay, so do you have any question before we move on? No, I got it. No, any questions? I got it. Teacher, teacher yeah. I have a question. When we were in, in the words of both countables and uncountables, mm -hmm. uh, for example, plenty of, mm -hmm. when we will use it in countable nouns, uh, we can say a plenty of. Mm, it's better to say just plenty. Plenty of. Plenty, and and we and if we will use it in on countables, uh, we need to say there is there is plenty of or just plenty of. You can say that one. I mean, you can say uh, also in both way. You can say. Plenty, plenty of, for, for example, in an answer, you can say um, plenty of anything or plenty, of, well, but you can say there is plenty of or there are plenty of. Both ways wow. is possible, depending okay. if it's yeah. countable or non-countable. Okay. okay, thank you. There is plenty of now. It's possible to say there is plenty of water in the ocean. You can say that. All right. Mm -hmm. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, any other question before we continue? Okay, let's move on. Okay, so exercise. We're going to practice. Number one, how, uh, oh, I'm sorry, something happened here. <laughs> got, it got crazy. Let's see. Okay, I guess you are able to see there, right? Very big. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Okay, so number one, how is it going to be? How much um, time? How many times do we have? How many times? How, how, much much time time how, much time? how much time do we have? How much time do we have? How much? How much? In time bit. is non, non countable. Non countable. That depends. Okay. Because oh, I yes. can say, yeah, I can say. I listen about times. Exactly. You can say, for example, yes. how many times do I have to repeat the exercise? Yes, it's possible. But what is the difference between one and the other one? Times is about how much number, time? and times about uh, the Beses. I don't know. <laughs> times, uh, beses is time and the tiempo in general. That is it. In general. So time is like how many times I have, cuantas veces. And time in general is like the time, right? That is not possible to count because, uh, well, we invented the hours and the minutes and the seconds as a measure. But time, I mean, we cannot 
we cannot count that one. So yes, in this one is going to be how much time do we have? But number, in this case, the number one is how much time? That is, yeah, how much. What about number two? They moved to France. They moved to France a few years ago. A few years ago. few years ago. Very good. They moved to France a few years ago. Nice. Mm -hmm. The number three, how is going to be? I need, I need some help. help. I need some help. Very good. I need some help moving these boxes. Moving box. these boxes. Cool. Number five. I've got. I got a. I have you. I got a few minutes. I have you. I got a few minutes. I will help you. Okay. A few. Very good. A few. A few. I'll have. You. And the uh, number five. Now it's number five. We have. We have a lot of time. A lot, a lot of time. A lot of time. But he is still failed. Yeah, my, that's not good. <laughs> he had a lot of time. He started, but he still failed. He flunked. Uh -huh. Let's check the other part. Let's see. Okay, number six. Number six. Do we have? Do we have any cake? Left? Any cake left? Cake left. Good. Do we have any cake left? Because it's a question, right? It's a question. Yeah, that is good. I'm Number... Yeah, me too. To be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> what about number seven? There was, there was a lot of many tickets. A lot. Very good. So noise. Noise is countable or non countable? No noise non countable. Non -countable. Non -countable. Very good. And that happens sometimes here in this country, right? Sometimes you are not able to sleep because there is a party there somewhere. And we can't sleep very well. <laughs> what about number eight? There aren't, there aren't many tickets left for the concert. concert. Very good. There aren't many tickets left for the concert. concert. And number nine. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Our garden, our garden, our garden looks awful. Our garden looks awful. Our garden Our garden looks awful. There are too many weeds. What is awful? That is not beautiful. It's yeah. like a beautiful? No, not beautiful. Not it's like not ugly. beautiful. Opposite. It's ugly. It's like a... Like a bad? Like bad. Very good. It's like a bad. ugly. 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 Bad. What about weeds? What is weeds? Yeah, and are in the trees. Yeah. Maleza. Yeah, it's something the, that is not good. Right? Green something. things in Mala the trees. Hierba. Something like that. Very good. Very good. <laughs> okay, so you can see that is, I mean, it's not that difficult, but we need to try to use the grammar and the vocabulary. Uh, and um, this is very interesting because you can get to analyze many things. Uh, for example, have you ever had questions like that, like the one that we had before, how much water is there in the ocean? Have you ever had questions like that? No. Not never? For example, another question that might be in that kind of level uh, is like, um, what, what happens when you die? What do you think that happens? I don't know. <laughs> Be people no, also, I, I, I don't know, teacher. <laughs> Some people say that, because, no, because that he look at 
live. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I don't know, I don't but know. but Bible says that people In pass away to another life. <laughs> yeah, there are many beliefs, right? There are many beliefs in the world. Uh, another question that I was having myself is uh, what is, uh, talking about religion, uh, what is the religion that has more people in the world? Do you know that? Um... I am I in China. What is the religion? Because the, yeah. <laughs> there are a lot of people in China. Actually, you're I right. Think... Oh, wow. Yeah, but, but I don't know what is the religion in this country. In the religion that country. is Buddhism. Buddhism. Mm -hmm. So, Buddhism. and yes, you are right. They are the ones who have more people in the world because they are more right. So. More. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah, that is the only reason. And uh, talking about the first question, there are plenty of people that had experiences when they were dying or they, uh, they were dead for one minute and they were watching different things, right? Have you read something about that one? No. Mm, I remember that people said that uh, they uh, saw lights or like tunnels. Tunnels are very common, yeah. And nice. other people remember uh, their their lives, uh, yeah. like uh, the most memorable things in their lives. That is true. They they say that they see their lives pass through uh, their eyes, right? In front of their eyes. Yeah. yeah. Well, there are many, many things that we can analyze. And the good thing is that we can think about that one. We can uh, speak and give opinion about that one and practice English. As you can see, the level of English today was different than the other days. Today, we spoke in a different way because we are using different kind of vocabulary and language. And that is very good. So, before we finish, is there any question? No questions. No. 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 Everything is okay. Everything is okay. We learned too many things today. It was very funny and very interesting. And, well, tomorrow we have another class with more vocabulary and a little bit more of grammar so we can practice. As you can see, as I was telling you before, I like to bring different things uh, that are not in the platform so we are able to learn more uh, other things. So I believe that is good. Uh, but of course, if you have different opinion and you want me to change something, you can tell me, okay? I'm open for changes. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure. Have a good night, rest very well, and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. Tomorrow. See you bye tomorrow, bye, teacher. teacher. Good night. Bye, bye. 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 bye everybody. Bye. bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, good night.